This is Dan Martin, one of the world's best road cyclists who just, after a day of mountain bike tuition from the legendary Athertons, keep your elbows nice and high so you're in a strong position, is now about to face a World Cup downhill track. What could possibly go wrong? I think a little bit of poo just came out. In episode one, we saw Dan wrestling with a downhill bike for the very first time and also learning that he didn't actually need to ride to the top of the hills anymore. Come on, Dan! Come on, Daddy boy! Yeah, boy! See you at the top! <laughs> but this is another step up from the Atherton's bike park. We've made the trip north to the Scottish Highlands, the home to Britain's highest peak, Ben Nevis, and to the Fort William World Cup track. It has a fearsome reputation for being one of the roughest, toughest tracks around, needing upper body strength and stamina, as well as epic bike handling skills. Things that, frankly, Dan doesn't have. Reckon you can do that? No chance. We've made it to the Scottish Highlands, home to Endura, who are making this all happen, and also home to some epic scenery, epic terrain, and epic weather. Although today, Dan, I think you've actually got lucky. Sun is shining. More good news as well. You don't have to rise to the top. You're gonna glide your way up on a gondola and hopefully glide your way back down. Bad news, this downhill trail is about as tough, gnarly, and unforgiving as it gets. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm not, not sure. Anything you're particularly scared of? Wow, well, I mean, it, I don't know. It's more like, it, it's just an incredible experience. That's what, we, that's what this whole journey was about. And uh, yeah, as the rain was on the window this morning, I was a little bit concerned, but obviously the sun's come out to treat us, and, but I don't know what to expect. What would you rather be doing today? Riding a stage of the Tour de France or heading down the Fort William World Cup course? Depends what stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we've given you your day of training, so uh, we may as well head, head up, scope out the course, and. Uh, See what awaits us. Yeah, throw me off the off the start ramp. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, not cool. Literally. Like any decent mountain biker, Dan knows he needs to scope out the trail before throwing himself down. Unfortunately, Endura have supplied another top rider to show him the ropes. Joe Barnes is a multiple Scottish downhill champion, a seasoned pro on the enduro scene, and most importantly, lives local to Fort William, so knows this course better than anybody. Joe, thanks for being with us today. I'm so glad Endura have sent you because Dan needs all the help he can get. <laughs> Not as glad as I am. My yeah. pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> I'm going to scope the course out. Yeah, that's going to be key, I think. At least okay. getting a look before riding it. Okay. So you Let's... know what you're in for, and we'll hopefully pick a few lines out. Nice one. Well, I think we should get going and, yeah. you know, tell us to stop and we'll have a look at any, any features. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Catch your eye. Let's do it. Sound good, Dan? Yep, fine. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. He likes to look at that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Right then, Joe, things got a bit trickier here. First hard section, um, words of wisdom for Dan. Okay, well, yeah, you thought the track started up there. The track actually starts here, mentally, because this is like where it starts really getting going. And it goes to all these cobbled rocks, all different angles, and it's a minefield. Wow. But the thing is, try not to look at your front wheel too much and just turn it all into a blurred mess in front of you and just aim for the berm. Okay, I think for this one, Dan, it'd be good to kind of watch Joe, take it on and just see what I'm not sure takes. that's a good idea, but yeah, I'm up for it. Yeah, you're right with that, Joe? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Cool. You head up, get your bike, okay. and we'll have a little watch. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Here he comes then, Dan. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Reckon you can do that? No chance. Good luck, anyway. I need a parachute. Uh, last real rocky section before we go into the woods now, approaching the finish. What's the best line for this corner? Yeah, so this rock's got a little bit of camber to it, but you are coming in and turning with it, so it should hold support. So just somewhere around the inside, and hopefully it'll grip. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> and failing that, there's a, there's a rubbly gutter on the inside edge, which you can always aim for if things get out of, out of hand. Look good to you, Dan? Well, yeah. I mean, from this angle, it looks a bit terrifying but I'm sure when you come in with speed it feels yeah. a bit more different you know so yeah yeah okay cool we'll head on down and uh, 
Have a look at the last few sections. Okay, into the woods. Last feature then, Joe. There is a bit of this uh, bridge missing, isn't there? <laughs> there might be. Could be in with the fish if you're not careful. Solid drop down, isn't it? Yeah. Jeez, I don't have to do this, do I? No, there is the option to the side here. And luckily there's not so much water in the river, so you won't get wet feet and you'll be flying through there. He could do it though. He could do it. I think with a bit of speed and a bit of fashion, he's straight over there. Either way, I think, Joe, you should give this one a go and we'll see how it's done. I'll grab my bike, give it a shot and yeah. see at the bottom. Yeah, you grab a bike. Okay. Afterwards, though, I think we need to get in this gondola and yeah, get yeah. you to the top because time's <laughs> of the essence. Your big moment is approaching, Dan. Oh, I hear the ground. Here he is. Oh, <laughs> you got that, Dan. <laughs> Easy. Here we are then, Dan, on the start ramp of the Fort William World Cup course. It's been a fun journey to get to this point and it's been lighthearted at times, but it's getting serious now. You need to concentrate and, and just do your best. There's no shame if you want to back out. I mean, you've won a stage at the Tour, Giro, Vuelta, Giro de Lombardi, Liège, Bretagne, Liège. This is going to be a bit of a different kettle of fish. Good luck. We've got Joe with you though, just in case, in case things might go wrong. He'll, he'll help me down it, but we'll, yeah, we'll, uh, I'm looking, pretty scared but we'll just yeah take our time and pick our way down and uh, yeah sure it'll be good. Any last messages for anyone? Uh, how are you getting down? Well I'm, I'm taking the blue run I'm just gonna yeah I'll see you at the bottom don't worry about me it's all about you now this is down the course right. give it your best and good luck. All right let's do it. It's been nice knowing you. Ready? Three, two, one, beep! Oh. To the left side. That's it, keep the wheels going. Perfect. Nice then. Yeah, nice. Okay, yeah, nicely done. Yes, Dan. Oh, oh, around the top. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, perfect. And on the little staircase. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got loads of grip. That's it. Oh, jeez. Into the rock. Uh, just straight over. Perfect. Left of that rock. Yeah, nice one, Dan. And now just straight down the track. Big rock. Nice there. Over the big island in the middle. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Off the drop. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a proper... <laughs> yeah, follow the rut. Perfect. Nice down. Uh, left down this bit. Yeah, good. Yeah, nice. And control the speed nicely. Lots of front brake as well. Yeah, boy! Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh. 
Now stay right. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Chief. Yeah, nice one. Slow down a bit. Yeah, nice. Oh, <laughs> that was that. Uh, Thanks, bro. Oh, oh, sorry. I don't know if I can do that again. I'm exhausted. <laughs> that was a good deal. He's more stressed than me. Oh, no, thank you, man. Oh, lost. Oh, here comes Connor. Oh, yeah. Oh, Dan. Oh, yeah. You're still alive. <laughs> Made it. Wow, well done, mate. To be honest, I really wasn't sure you'd be here. <laughs> well, one piece. I thought I'd see a helicopter. Thanks for the confidence, mate. But uh, fair play. You got down it then. How was it? Tell me. Full disclosure, I, I had to walk probably three or four of the big rocky drops. I could have made that, couldn't I? <laughs> I mean, a little bit of poo just came out. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't taking on that big river jump. That was, I took the chicken run. But I mean, this guy, like, amazing. Well, fair play and fair play for taking it on, because oh. there's not many people who give that a go. Oh, honestly, so, yeah. I mean, even with my full effort, I took probably five times longer than this guy would in a race. So it's just, what these guys do is just phenomenal, you know? No, that's super impressive. Super impressive. But big thanks to Endura, of course, for allowing this to happen and uh, allowing us to see you give it a go. It was, it was pretty spectacular. <laughs> Whilst Dan may not have descended the Fort William track in record time, he did actually make it down, much to the relative surprise and relief of our camera team, myself included, it must be said. Anyone who takes on such a brutal course on two wheels deserves respect, and I'm sure you'll agree it was pretty cool to see Dan's effort. Yes, he may have won some of the sport's biggest races, but this is a different discipline entirely. And with little training, he genuinely smashed it. Thankfully, not literally though. You can see what it meant to him to finish off this challenge set by Enduro 2. That's what cycling is all about. You can enjoy it in so many different ways, but ultimately, we're all just loving the experience of riding on two wheels, wherever that may take us. The question though now remains, what should we get Dan to do next? please let us know down in the comments and we'll see what we can persuade him into. Thanks for watching, folks. Oh, and uh, by the way, I made it off the mountain. Un unfortunately, no footage exists of this big air and all that sort of stuff, but um, you can take my word for it. I got a bit lost on the blue trail. I took a bit of a wrong turn in. Flipping, big jumps back there. Hold on, I'm coming down to you. Definitely not riding this bit. God, is it as bad as this? Ooh. Oh, it's tough that last bit. Made a bit of a mistake in up there.